I'm in a bit of a hurry today because I have a class in 20 minutes and I haven't completed the readings for it yet. So I'm quickly going to do that. Um, thankfully my class is online which means I can do it up until the class starts. But yeah, today is my first day of having in-person classes, so hence why I'm dressed. Otherwise, yeah, otherwise I would have been in my PJs all day. So come with me. <laughs> There's definitely one thing that confused me with online classes. It is now five minutes past the time my class should have started, yet there's nothing going on. And I've checked, it's definitely online. Yeah, definitely everyone's confused over what's going on. And how about you, what did you get to? Uh, well, this weekend was a big, bit hectic. We found out that one of my flatmates has COVID, so we were just like trying to figure everything out so we can all self-isolate. So that's what we're going to do. One of your flatmates has COVID? Oh my God, seriously? So I have a class starting in about four minutes. I'm still in my dorm and I have to leg it to the building. Problem is, I don't know where the classroom is, so wish me luck. Okay, my class has just finished and then because I might as well do it right now I'm going to go and get a few things for myself as in food <laughs> Last year I definitely had it easy because my accommodation was right over there and all I had to walk to get to the convenience store. The distance I had to walk was from there, then to here and over here. Now it's much farther. So as usual I spent way too much but for in my defense, I did buy a few things for my mum because she did ask me to get them. So, for a change, I didn't spend that much on myself. But I am walking with the full bag and eggs. So, fun times. I do have to say, it feels really, really weird being on campus and it being this, this empty. So, I have four hours of free time between two of my lectures. So, in that time, I've just cooked. So while I eat, I'm probably gonna watch YouTube, so I have some chill time, and then later on, or after I finish, I'm probably just going to do my readings for tomorrow, and possibly the day after, because I'm very, very behind, so I need to catch up. And I won't be able to do it later on in the day, because it's my flatmate's birthday today, so yeah, the later part of the day is reserved for her and having fun so see you in a bit so I ended up taking a nap of some sort I didn't sleep but I was just lying in my bed for a long time instead of studying so that's a great start. Uh, I still have an hour left till my lecture, so hopefully in that time I get some studying done. Fingers crossed. Economic system, so we understand what we mean by the next one, which is South Korea's developmental state. Uh, then we're going to look at the ideologies that this creates. We're going to look at disciplinary society, which is some theory background that will help us. Over there. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Sarah! Happy birthday to you! Good morning. It is now Tuesday. I woke up 
No, actually, three hours after I was supposed to. Thankfully, I haven't missed any classes, but I have missed out on self study. <laughs> oh, well, it's going great so far this week, is. Um, also, all of my classes are online this week, which would be fun, but um, they asked us to have our cameras on, which means you'll have to participate and, and you have to look presentable. <laughs> so, yeah. But I'm gonna go and write my notes for my class that's in two hours and then if I have time start looking at my portfolio that is due in on Friday. So fun times. So story time. Yesterday uh, my flatmate has used a ceramic pot to cook things in because she's been told when she bought it that you can use it for cooking. Turns out you can't, it broke in half, so you got the top part and the bottom part and it just separated. Um, but next part of the story, it was left next to the sink. There's me assuming it's there to be washed up, so I wash it up. In the process, I cut the underneath of my nail and now it really really hurts and it's bleeding really badly. And I can't even put a plaster on it because how are you supposed to put a plaster for underneath your nail? I mean, I know I'm white, but this is unfair. <laughs> I look like a full-on ghost. So giving long explanations in English isn't very useful for our learners. The human element in the language, within the language itself. So, you know, talking about things that actually involve them. So, that class was fun. Um, doing is, I do enjoy that class, but the only problem is you have to have the camera on for two hours, which does mean it gets a little bit uncomfortable, but just a bit. <laughs> Okay. I love it when this happens in a class. Let's rejoin. Went to your house um, the for first time. Oh, your house is so beautiful. You can stay in China. That's the presence that um, allow us to see the presence of European powers. So, and indeed, it's the bound the place where. So the fact that actually uh, modernity uh, is yes, very much uh, a product of uh, these colonial nations between Western powers and uh, Asian societies, but it is actually part of. I mean, it is already happening in those societies, and one is a perfect case. So. Uh, well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Shirley Russell, and I work in the, the study abroad team, which is um, external liaison team now, but the, essentially the international office. So I'll get started, and then at the end, if we've got any questions, um, you can ask us. So my class has just finished. I had three classes in a row. One wasn't exactly a class, one was more like a st study abroad talk. Thing is, they didn't really tell us much, that much new information that we haven't got in the previous year. But it was still nice to hear it again, I guess. Um, but I'm just really nervous about going to study in Korea because I've never been in the country. I've never been outside of Europe, so I'm a little bit nervous about how it's all going to turn out. But fingers crossed, it's gonna go well. <laughs> Thank you. 
when your lecturer gives you videos to watch for the next lesson and those these are the videos And this article, a tiny article to read. Life is easy then. Life is easy. So all of my classes are for today are finished, but I haven't had the chance to work on my Korean portfolio that I mentioned recently. I looked at it, it looks pretty difficult. So I need to crack on with that and hopefully, if not finish it today, do most of it today so at least tomorrow because I only have one class tomorrow hopefully tomorrow I can finish it off and it's out of the way Guess who's a dum-dum? Me. So I was supposed to have a class at three o'clock and it's been online since the last two weeks, so I'm used to this. I'm sitting in front of my laptop waiting for it to start, three o'clock rolls around, nothing happens, so I just wait because it happened before when classes started late or I don't know, something happened and I wasn't able to join until 10 minutes after. So it's been 20 minutes. And I'm like, this is weird, why isn't the class starting? I definitely have a class at three. And then I realise, it's in person. I'm supposed to be in an actual physical classroom. And instead I'm in my room. Yay. I remember the day when we started talking <laughs> no. Okay, you get all the hot chocolate you want. <laughs> if you slip, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, come back, come back, come back. There's <laughs> a name for like in the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now come back before I have a heart attack that you're gonna fall in. Thank you. Oh, it's slipping. Good job. I love autumn purely because look at the colors. It's so pretty. And this is the place Sarah found when she got lost when we went running the other week. So peaceful. <laughs> Wait, what is this? I'm scared to touch it. Oh, what was it? I don't know, but I think it's rotting away. <laughs> I want to find one that's not broken yet. And then you can break it? Yeah. Because that would be so much fun. I, had to, I did that the last time. Oh, three! Very nice. There we go. That's it. Aww. And my hand is dirty. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's cool. <laughs> that looks sick.
after the walk we had and the food that we ordered. I am so tired and it's 8 o'clock. It's only 8 o'clock. But I'm so so debating whether to just go to sleep really early. Because... Wow. And it's not even like I woke up early today. I woke up quite late today so I don't even understand why I feel as tired as I am. But... Oh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it an early night. Today is the 9th of October, which is my dad's birthday, so I'm catching a train to go back home for the weekend. Um, it does mean that I'm missing one of my classes today, because if I don't miss my class, I miss my train, so yeah, I don't really have a choice. Of course it has to start hailing as I'm walking to the train station. <laughs> oh, this is Britain for sure. <laughs> Reminder of passengers that where possible, please do sit in the window seats furthest away from the train's aisle. This is in line with social distancing guidelines and will help keep the maximum distance between yourself and the fellow passenger and or member of the train crew. I'm really happy. I finally managed to try on my clothes I got from the charity shop like three weeks ago and because I managed to wash them out now. And this is a top that I got and so comfy and big. Perfect for the cold weather that we're probably going to have over autumn at Christmas. It's so nice.
viszont most már egyre maga biztosabb vagyok, hogy hova szeretlek, szeretlek, szeretlek. Szia! Szia, Beni! Magyarország, te vagy a szívembe írva, Magyarország.